In this reading of Unwind Your Mind Back to God by David Hofmeister, we continue reading from Book 1, Laying the Foundation. Chapter 1, Last and Eleventh Section, Q&A Session. Friend, what was is paradise? David, pure spirit, eternity, light, love, infinity. Friend, what is heaven on earth? David, seeing the world without judgment. Friend, do you believe it is possible? David, it is a stepping stone or metaphor in awakening to spirit. Friend, what is healing of the world? David, accepting that the mind is whole, not fragmented. Friend, how can you socially help so a soul that is experiencing a dream of dying from hunger in Africa can experience truth? David, release the belief in separate souls, private minds, private thoughts, and the world is healed. There is no problem apart from the mind. Friend, how do you classify out-of-body experiences and the forms on higher vibrational planes like Christ plane or etheric plane? David, out-of-body experiences are perceptual metaphors for a mind which believes it is in a body. Christ is reality and therefore not a belief, level, plane or concept. When the sleeping mind is emptied of all concepts and beliefs, divine mind is recognized as reality. Such is the Christ. Spirit never enters into form. When the illusion of ego is raised to the light, it dissolves. Such is awakening. Friend, you said there is no mind spirit in matter. Is spirit mind present in you? David, spirit is ever present. The word David is a symbol or representation, not reality. Spirit, being abstract and limitless, is beyond personality. The I am is spirit. Friend, was, is spirit mind present in Jesus? David, the word Jesus is also a symbol or representation. Jesus the Christ is a phrase indicating the apparent representation or demonstration of reality. Yet, Reality is one, beyond any, on all symbols. Friend, what about Neo's mastery over illusion, stopping bullets in the movie The Matrix, or in the movie Dark City? Isn't that the Holy Spirit's work in mainstream media? David, these are excellent symbols of mind over matter and the power of forgiveness, to have dominion over the world of images. Yet the Holy Spirit does not work in the world, but in the mind that believes the world is real. The point of healing is the release of the illusory lens of fragmentation. Interpreting the Holy Spirit as using symbols is accurate. Yet it must be remembered that the Holy Spirit uses time to teach there is no time and symbols to teach a unified perspective in which symbols are no longer necessary. Thus, forgiveness is more accurately the unlearning of everything one knows about the world than learning in the sense of accumulating skills and abilities in the world. Friend, can you feel oneness with me and with all that is true in this illusion? If yes, what is the rush to the formless world? 
David. Unified or healed perception is feeling the oneness and love that comes from the experience of non-judgment. Non-judgment is a perspective where you are joined with the Holy Spirit and realize you are not in the illusion. The dreamer of a dream, aware that the world is only a dream, is not identified as being a figure or participant in the dream. The fear was generated by the belief that one is in a dream, a body. The peace comes with the dreamer of the dream perspective joined with the Holy Spirit. Friend, do you vote and for whom? David, no. Peace is seeing that the that there literally are no sides to take and no change possible in the world. This is what changing your mind about your mind means. Change the lens and not the script for right-mindedness is a real alternative with which to view the dream. It is impossible to change a script that is past, that is already written. Seeing this is peace. Seeing this is the correction. It is about accepting the Holy Spirit's correction instead of attempting a personal correction, which of course is no correction at all. End of chapter 1